Jeremy TV. All right, welcome back. So I mentioned earlier that we have bought a building. It's on order, hasn't gotten here yet. We have to level the site to place it. We had initially looked at this site where the storage building used to stand, but it's pretty unlevel. It's gonna take a lot of work and kind of blocks our view of the west side of the place from the house. So I think what we've decided is to move it over here on the back side of the dog pen. A couple of benefits. It gets it out of our direct line of sight from the house. It keeps us from having to move the dog pen and this site's a lot more level to start with. So next step is to get the corners staked out and string put on them and leveled and see what kind of grade that we're dealing with right now, how much work we're gonna have. So as you can see, we're trying to figure out here where we're going to put the corners. And I wanted to put it close enough to the dog pen that it wasn't jutting out into the pasture. And my thought was the further east I put it, the less leveling I had to do. But as it turns out, you can eyeball a piece of land or a piece of ground, think it's pretty level, and then find out that it's not nearly as close to level as you thought. So, and here I jump to time lapse of photography, and most of the rest of this project was done in time lapse because there was so much time involved on each step of the project that I didn't want hours and hours and hours of video which requires changing out batteries and babysitting the camera. If I'm doing time lapse, I can start it. That thing will run two or three hours on a battery. I just have to swap them out occasionally and I don't have to worry about a bunch of video uh, jamming up my SD card. It was just way too much footage if I had done all this via video. Now there are some portions here and there that are video, but most of this is going to be time lapse. And that's the, that's the best way I could show everything that I accomplished in this project and everything that went on um, and be able to put it to a meaningful video. So um, most of these are going to have you know, some music, some voiceover, and they're going to be time-lapse photography. So I think it's a good way of showing your progress over a long period of time. Now here is one of those videos that I interspersed. I started out doing video so you can kind of hear a little bit of the tractor and, and get a, a sense real time of what was going on but most of the time you're going to see time lapse and a little bit of sped up video and a very little bit of real time video. So I got the corner staked out here and I was going to start with the far west side and my goal was to really just kind of work with an area that was marginally bigger than the footprint for the building. So it didn't end up quite being that way as you'll see in, in subsequent videos, but I started here just breaking up this ground on the far west side of where the building was going to sit. As I think I've mentioned in previous videos about this project, this is not where the barn ended up sitting, but uh, this is where we started with our our second location for where the barn would be. And I just kind of learned this as I went. Um, I was really unsure about this as much as, as, as any project I've ever done. Uh, my dad reassured me that it wouldn't be that difficult. And, uh, you know, he said it was just a matter of, of taking a string and a string level, figuring out how much you know, you had to cut out of one side or add to another to make sure everything was going to stay level. And I found that that it got very difficult with, you know, you get one, you get two corners level or three corners level, and then the, the fourth one would be out of level, and you'd have to adjust everything. So it was a lot tougher than it looked. And I would go back now. If I could go back, I would just pay somebody to do the leveling for me. I would have paid somebody with a dozer to come in for a couple hours. I would think a guy with a dozer that knew what he was doing could have come in and had this pad ready in two hours, no bigger than it was going to be. And, you know, as relatively level as this piece of ground was to start with. So 
and you can see as it goes further west it gets it gets less level and it keeps rising as you go to the west and, and probably about 50 or 100 feet west of where I'm digging there is the highest point in the entire pasture but um, it really was a chore it was a lot more difficult than I anticipated uh, I'm proud that ultimately I was able to get a pad for the building and that it did turn out to be very level uh, the guys who set up the building were impressed that I was able to get it level with that little tractor but um, I wouldn't do it again. If I could go back in time, knowing what I know now, I would have hired somebody to do it. I would gladly pay them the $300 or $400 to come in with a dozer and, and build me a pad and be done with it. Uh, because I ended up moving a whole crap load of dirt. I tore up uh, at least a half acre of my pasture here and it will take it a couple of years to, to heal up and grow back. And I've still got a whole big mountain of dirt that I need to get rid of as I'm doing this voiceover today. So it, it was it was a big mess. And I'm sick of moving dirt, but um, you know I am proud of the fact that I was ultimately able to get it done. And uh, you know, as I'm speaking today, um, this coming weekend we're going to put electrical in. And, um, but I am happy to have the barn. It's something I didn't think I'd have this soon glad it's there but definitely a huge pain to get this pad ready for the building see now we're back to time lapse and the reason I, I pulled everything to one side I, I could have done both directions and it would have probably graded things faster but the biggest pain when, when dealing with when moving dirt like this with a tractor, at least in my opinion, is trying to manage all the dirt that you've got when you drag everything up. Because, you know, I've got what I thought was a big mound of dirt right there now. But compared to what it is today, in reality, it's that's nothing. And, and it's just managing all that dirt. So you spend three-fourths of your time dragging the dirt up and then you spend another fourth of your time getting it out of your way I mean and I guess that's probably true with any kind of dirt moving equipment but it seems like it's it's made worse by by the fact that it's a tractor and my bucket capacity is not all that much and uh, it would have made it a lot easier had I had a like a skid steer out here working with me and I could have been blading up the dirt and they could have been moving it out of the way but I mean you know I got it done it is what it is but it was a lot of work a lot of moving dirt I was always having to try to shuffle it off to one side or the other and as you work it you kind of get a you know a, a pattern down you get kind of a, a routine and you kind of figure out what works best and and it is trial and error I mean if you don't do this every day if you don't do it for a living and again I work an office job I do this stuff on the side I do it kind of for relaxation and for fun and granted this wasn't as relaxing but uh, you just kind of learn it as you go and I think I did a fair job for someone that didn't know what the hell they were doing when they started so uh, I uh, you know it's it's done but it was definitely a chore so um, yeah, there'll be several more videos to come here I was restringing it again to check the level but uh, this video is just about over so I want to thank you guys for watching appreciate you being here and I hope to see you all again soon